Hi, it's Karen, the Weekend Craftaholic, and welcome to day one of my 12 Days of Christmas. Today, we are gonna recreate this Pinterest-inspired stack of books. I absolutely love this look. So quick and easy to do, let's get started. Okay, so to make it easy for myself, I've got nine books that are all exactly the same size. I think it would look cute though with different size books, but I'm gonna keep it consistent. And then I am just gonna simply use a4 sheet of paper or you could use whatever color you like and I'm just gonna fold it around the book and kind of make a book like a book cover if that makes sense because they're all going to be stacked on top of one another and tied with a ribbon I don't really need to worry about you know it actually being a book cover where it needs to slip inside so what I'm going to do is with my piece of paper you see I've already just trimmed that down so that it the width's right and then I'm just going to find these creases for the spiners and then I know exactly where I need to put my lettering for the books. Now you've got a few options for this and um, if you're a bit of a neat freak you could of course use a Cricut or Silhouettes machine and do some vinyl stickers, you could use your alphas, thickers, depending on the spine of your books of course. You could also write it on if you've got great penmanship. I am going to use just stamps and I'm going to stamp along each of these so I will put you on fast forward while I replicate this nine times and then you'll get the gist of what I mean hopefully for yourself. Now of course if you're doing this with different size books you need to be careful measuring this every single time but now I've got my template I am just going to use this for all of my nine books. I'm just going to trim this down a little on this side because that would look quite right so just here's my little the mat so I know where to cut. I don't think it matters too much the weight of the paper that you use, just use what you've got, a, got on hand. This is meant to be a quick, cheap and cheerful Christmas project. So I'm going to start just really putting all of these little pieces of paper across each of the books. I just want to see how they look stacked on top of one another. And as I said, I'm not worried too much about the papers going out right to the edge because that will be hidden. It's just going to be the spine that's shown. But don't forget your very top book will be shown. So I have used a thicker GSM piece of paper for that. I think I've used a 250, whereas the copy of paper is normally just an 80 GSM. So I don't want the actual book on the inside to show through the top of it. Now I'm just showing you here with my stamping, I'm going to start from the edge. So in other words, I'm stamping backwards with the names. That way I can get them all um, aligned right to that edge. I'm never going to be able to stamp perfectly so I'm intentionally going to go for a messy look to make it look handmade and a little bit um, you know as though it's meant to look messy rather than it's just looking messy for the sake of it. Now I'm just using these two particular distro Distress Oxide colours because I always have a blue themed Christmas so the blue is just going to blend in with all the rest of my Christmas decor in the house and I'm going to do Rudolph in red just as they have on, on the Pinterest idea which I really like the idea of that standing out separately. Now I did roughly put the paper around the books as you saw but I'm using my bone folder now just to make sure that those creases are nice and straight. And that's just going to make my life a little bit easier to know where, where my stamp should go in between those two crease lines. So you can see I've started with the red one first. This is going to be my bottom book. This is Rudolph. And I hope you get the idea now of where I've started to stamp backwards. So I'm just going to show you a couple of these before I finish because if why it's going to be a little bit tedious. But I would say just at this point, don't forget, you don't need to use just plain white paper. I've done because I'd, I have a blue and white Christmas. I think this would be amazing with plaid paper, any kind of Christmas paper or metallic paper, glittery paper. You don't even need to use paper actually. I think the Pinterest idea themselves just used pieces of wood that they would painted white. So anything you've got to hand, but I think it, it does absolutely give us a nice quick and easy project to work with. And this is why I picked this for day one of my Christmas crafts, because what I want to show you throughout this series are things you can do within 20 minutes so my videos will probably be about five ten minutes long but the projects themselves should never take more than 30 minutes to do and they're all perfect to do with older children as well and then hopefully you've got some ideas if you want to make some handmade Christmas themed gifts to give to friends and relatives this year as well so this is my finished Christmas craft for today now I tried and failed miserably to show you me putting the bow on it was a two-person job it was a little bit difficult um, but you can see here I used two different ribbons one in a dark and one in a lighter color just to bring out the blue and I really love it even though the letters are wonky 
it looks homemade, it looks cute for Christmas. So that is day one of my Christmas crafts. I hope you join me for the rest of this series where we get inspired by Pinterest ideas and I hope you try this yourself. I had a lot of fun making it and I think it's going to look great as part of my Christmas decoration. So thanks for watching, I hope to see you tomorrow.